any protocol that is helping to reach that vision is going to be a big winner. Um, connecting the ecosystems together and layer zero is one of them. Hello everyone. Today, our guest is popular crypto Bitcoin trader, Miles Deutscher, who in this video comes with some key information in making insane money via crypto airdrops with complete guidance. With the following airdrops, I make your life easier. It saves you from having to grind and lay the groundwork. My research team and I did that already for you. We found the crypto airdrops. You only need to complete the required tasks, so you qualify. This week, I can offer you one guaranteed and two potential airdrops. 2023 is shaping up to be a massive year for crypto airdrops. In the last few years, we've had huge airdrops where people have made up to $50,000 on Optimism, $30,000 on ENS, $18,000 on Uniswap, and recently people made between $2,000 and $7,000 on Aptos. And although the game is getting a little bit more competitive these days, I think in 2023, we have some of the potential biggest airdrops that we've seen in recent times. And I think there's going to be many opportunities this year to be able to capitalize on the mass amount of incentives that projects are now pumping into the market to get their users to use their protocols. So in today's show, I'm going to be going through 10 of my favorite crypto airdrops for 2023 and showing you guys the steps that it will take to get involved in these airdrops. Now, remember with airdrop hunting, you're not going to get every single one. Some you're going to miss, some you might get, some might over deliver and some might under deliver, but it's all part of the game. And I think the more that you do, the higher chance overall you have of getting a reward at the end of the day. So I still think it is worthwhile in 2023 to at least dedicate some time um, towards crypto airdrop farming. Maybe it's only 10% of your crypto research time. Maybe it's only 5%, but at least do something so you can potentially get your hands um, on some decent airdrops. And it may just be a few hundred dollars, but for a lot of people, you know, that can be life-changing money because you have to remember every dollar invested in the bear market can potentially be worth 10 to $20 in a bull cycle. So if you make $1,000 off airdrops, and you invest it wisely, that can become $10,000. The first airdrop I want to talk about is SUI. Now, obviously, Aptos had those huge, huge, huge incentives where they gave away $7,000 to people that just signed up for their testnet. All they needed to do was put their email in, and they got a massive, massive airdrop. Now, I think the SUI airdrop is going to be a little more difficult than what Aptos was, but the reason why I'm comparing it to Aptos is because they are both born out of the same project. So Facebook had a project called um, DM Protocol, which they then ended up uh, kind of defunking. And then Sui and Aptos were born out of the Move programming language, something the Facebook engineers and developers were working on. And subsequently, they got massive investments from the likes of FTX and A16Z. And we've seen Aptos go and become a top three blockchain by FDV in recent times. Although the price is slightly manipulated, there's no doubt that these protocols are being favored by the market as newer protocols. So Sui um, in my opinion, is going to be one of the biggest airdrops of 2023, potentially. All right, going on to airdrop number two out of 10, we have Vela Exchange. Now, this one has a lot of hype behind it at the moment. What it is, is an upcoming DEX, an upcoming perpetual DEX on the Arbitrum blockchain. So similar to GMX, similar to Games Network, it's a perpetual DEX that has a really cool UI. And the token, which is live, although the DAP isn't live yet, has been exploding in recent times. The token's gone from a dollar um, to above $3 at one point in just the space of a week. So it's been one of the strongest performers in crypto, and it's one that a lot of people have been picking up now on social media. Now, from a token perspective, this does interest me because it comes in at a $20 million market cap versus GMX at $300 million versus gains at $150 to $200 million. Although the fully diluted is high, my argument against the FDV being a concern is the fact that on a very short time frame, uh, the market tends to ignore FDV. And we have seen this with protocols like Aptos. So although long-term, there is a lot of dilution here and that will likely affect uh, the price long-term. This isn't a bet I'd be making long-term at all. In the short term, there might be opportunities on pullbacks to accumulate the Vela token. But another way to get the Vela token is going to be via the airdrop. So what they are doing is releasing a public beta with an early access round for early whitelisted users and then on February 9th, which is in roughly 10 days, um, but by the time you're watching this, it might already be out, they're releasing an open beta, which is basically anyone uh, that can test out and use the protocol. And in exchange for using the protocol, given the fact there is dilution to come, it's highly likely that, that they will be incentivizing via an airdrop. So I do expect open interest to increase significantly on the platform because there's a lot of airdrop hype. I do expect there to be a lot of trading on the platform, which does make 
Um, maybe investing in the Vela token, a decent play, at least in the short term. Layer zero essentially is the ultimate interoperability layer in crypto. Uh, interoperability is a narrative I'm super excited about for next cycle. I think we're going to see a lot of dominant interoperability plays. Basically, what interoperability means is connecting multiple chains and creating ecosystems where you can easily bridge funds from, from chain to chain, um, use a, a, an application, then bridge across to another application on another chain or another layer and just have a seamless experience instead of having all these janky, unsafe bridges um, as we've seen many exploits and having kind of a very slow user experience when it comes to using multiple chains at once. So I think any protocol that is helping to reach that vision is going to be a big winner. Um, connecting the ecosystems together. And Layer Zero is one of them. They are trying to create the ultimate interoperability layer. And I did share the my kind of airdrop strategy for this in October, but now it's January. So it's getting a little bit late for Layer Zero, but I still think there could be opportunities in the ecosystem. And this is the thing with airdrops, guys. Just because the base layer airdrop might be oversaturated doesn't mean there isn't opportunities in the ecosystem. So if you like Layer Zero, but you're kind of annoyed because it looks like the airdrop snapshot's already been taken. That's not a reason to give up uh, and be despondent because you have opportunities in the ecosystem to potentially get involved. Think about all the new dApps launching on layer zero. Think about all the new applications that are now raising capital. They're, and some of them could be huge successes. They're likely going to have airdrops. And we could see this because the ecosystem is absolutely massive. It's vast. It's building quickly. Obviously, it involves projects that we like, like Stargate. You've got other um, networks like Pontum Network. You've got SushiSwap now. Rage Trade obviously is one of them as well. Um, and then they have also infrastructure partnerships with you know the Polkadot ecosystem and Harmony, etc. USDC, Metis. So it's a big ecosystem and there's going to be opportunities in that ecosystem. But a few tips first on the airdrop game. You're staying up to date with project updates. As I said, got to follow their discords. Got to be on, uh, following them on Twitter. That's how you're going to stay up to date with the latest news. Because although I try and give you guys updates on my Twitter... I don't want to turn my Twitter into just one rolling constant steam of airdrop updates. I want to keep it pretty alpha packed. Um, so kind of the, the balls in your court now to stay up to date with these projects once I give them to you. Although if there's a huge um, announcement, of course, I will I will post about it. Uh, there's actually a really, really good thread by Mingo Airdrop, which does a um, deep dive overview on airdrop farming management tips. He's one of the expert airdrop farmers in on, on crypto Twitter. And he kind of gives you steps for staying active on chain diversifying across different airdrops, focusing on farming new projects, how to interact with new protocols and how to keep up to date. So I highly recommend checking out his thread. It's really, really good. Um, it gives you kind of a full in-depth uh, step-by-step guide on how he stays up to date because one thing is knowing which airdrops to go for, but then another thing is adhering to those airdrops and having a system which allows you to consistently uh, go for them and not get burnt out because this is all about sustainability. This isn't just about um, FOMOing into a few test net um, a few test nets and thinking you're getting an airdrop. This is about coming up with a long-term strategy for receiving an airdrop and coming up with a sustainable strategy that you can stick to long-term. The best strategies are sustainable, just like crypto trading, just like crypto research. You need to incorporate it into your routine to be consistent with it over time. And remember that nothing is guaranteed. So a lot of the time, airdrops end up being negligible, 50, 100, $200. So to some of you, that may be a lot. To some, it might not be a lot. So nothing's guaranteed, but occasionally you are going to get a big one um, if you stay in the game long enough. And I mean, the proof's in the pudding. Uh, I mean, Optimism, $50,000. DYDX was 100K. Aptos, 7K. Of course, these are like um, examples of standout performers in the airdrop space. And you might not get close to that in the near future, but you may be able to stack five $1,000 airdrops or 10 $500 airdrops. And if you could do that, then you're still making $5,000. So it's still worth it, right? Even if it's much smaller than some of, of, of the winning examples. But of course, there will be more six-figure airdrops in the future. They're not going anywhere. Um, but obviously, you can't bank on hitting one of them because it's hard. It's kind of like you, you're playing the lottery game. Uh, the more lottery tickets you buy, the more chance you have of winning the lottery. Now with airdrops, unlike lottery tickets, it's actually free to buy a ticket. The ticket is your time. So you can buy more tickets by doing more but you are paying with your time instead of paying with $20 like you used to buy a lottery ticket. That's essentially how I view airdrop farming. And also, yeah, manage your expectations, but also look at the underlying ecosystems. I think this is a pretty big tip. A lot of people forget. They kind of cry when they're like, no, laser airdrop's over. No, Arbitrum airdrop's over. The reason I didn't put Arbitrum in this list is because frankly, it's over in my opinion for an airdrop. But, 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 there are ecosystem tokens launching that 
could exhibit returns greater than the base layer airdrop. So ecosystem projects under Arbitrum, ecosystem projects under layer zero that provide investment opportunities and also provide airdrop opportunities. An example of this that we talked about earlier is DXP, Vela Exchange. This is an airdrop on Arbitrum. This is a perp dex launching on Arbitrum. Um, so if you miss the Arbitrum airdrop, you have an opportunity to get other airdrops like Vela, for example. Now, it's just one example of probably 10 other protocols that are launching. Why did I put this one in? Because I think it's probably the best um, with the best UI. In fact, can I show you the UI? Because it's really, really good. Uh, I've got the UI here. Yeah, it looks super good. Uh, I, I really like this interface and it looks like a very promising protocol. So there's many more protocols like this that are launching underneath each ecosystem. So I'd keep my eye on them. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Miles Deutscher. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.